Well, the ceasefire agreement reached between Nigeria and Boko Haram has been marred by continuous bombing and exchanges of fire between the militant group and the military. In spite of this, the Nigerian ambassador to the U.S., Adebowale Adefuye, says talks to release the over 200 Chibo girls are ongoing and he's asking the world to give both parties a chance. But people tend to forget that Boko Haram is sort of organized, formalized structure. It's a, it's a jumble of all kinds of people, miscreants, um, lawbreakers, criminals, so we are taking advantage of the existence of Boko Haram to perpetrate atrocities. So there is no evidence. Boko Haram is not a formalized structure in which because there was the, some, of the, some of their people met with Nigerian government officials and we all cease hostilities. Nigerian government has always said that we are taking a multiple approach to solving the Boko Haram issue. First, there is the issue of enforcement, stopping the military aid. And then at the same time, because some of these issues where Boko Haram is existing have to do with complaints, some of which are not, and some of which you cannot dismiss totally. But I want to add that some of these things that Boko Haram people complain of were elements of misgovernance, bad governance, corruption, ineffectiveness of the previous regimes. Well, that was the Nigerian ambassador to the U.S., Professor Adebowale Adefuye. Now, to 